As teachers and school leaders work to keep COVID-19 at bay in their classrooms, they're talking about the struggles and the triumphs with state leaders. Five News reporter Tiffany Lee is in Gentry, where state leaders showed up to join that discussion. Bay Senator Cotton came to the intermediate and primary school to check in on the school and see how they're handling COVID and blended learning. With coronavirus impacting schools across Arkansas, school districts have had to adapt to many changes and take on new ways of learning. Teachers had a roundtable discussion and shared how the year has gone so far. Those at the school say that they love when state leaders come to visit because they can share their accomplishments, especially in the midst of a pandemic. Well, the children have just adapted remarkably well. They wear their masks. I rarely have to say to a student, put your mask on. It might be, you know, to the little ones, pop it up over your nose or something, but that's to the extent of that. But so far, I think by and large, our schools are uh, holding up very well, uh, and it's really important because our kids need to be in school and need to be learning. Senator Cotton says that he was very impressed when he saw the students and saw how they were handling the changes. In Gentry, covering news where you live, Tiffany Lee, 5 News. All right, Tiffany, thanks. We also caught up with Senator Tom Cotton's opponent, Libertarian candidate Ricky Dale Harrington Jr. today. We asked him about COVID-19 in Arkansas schools and how he feels the state is handling the pandemic. He says making sure students and teachers have access to high-speed Internet remains a top priority. Just making sure that those families have that option and are able to receive any assistance that might be available. Um, we want to make sure that that, that everyone can do that. Harrington also said making sure teachers and students have the proper protection in class is a priority for state leaders.